Today, we are turning this raw material into this. I think what our plan is so far, I'm gonna start building out the frames. Actually, I'm gonna just do one at a time. I'm gonna do one just to make sure the design is right and then I'll replicate it for the other ones. Uh, so that means two panels we're gonna need. So Katie's going to pre-chicken wire the panels, lay it down to the ground, roll it out, zip tie them, and then I'm gonna build out the frame We'll put the two panels on and then we'll frame out the door and the back. Yep. Done. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. <laughs> on time lapse, it is just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier just to rest it against my leg rather than bending down or because if you sit on it you put too much weight on it then you can't get the zip tie underneath mm. in the ground a little bit of trial and error but i'll figure out the best way to do it quickly yeah how's it coming for you uh slowly because i was having issues with power oh so i decided to go six and a half feet wide instead of six feet because I thought maybe six feet would be a little bit too much of an arch, too tall and make it kind of wobbly. Another half a foot, I can always shrink it if I need to. Then the eight foot runs, so the length. So I pre-drilled the screws so it wouldn't split. And then these six and a half foot ones are gonna go this way and I'll drill into them. So I did that to all four edges. And so now I'll just put it all together. Yeah, wasn't thinking on that one. Okay. Um, so this is the eight foot run. When two cattle panels are together, it'll be 50 inches, and then it's gonna overlap another 50 inches. So it's gonna be eight feet wide. So that means the six, the six and a half foot sections need to be on the outside, not on the inside. So that means I need the screws to go through this way. So the pre-drilling I just did on the ends of the eight foot runs are wrong. If we were to zip tie these together to make them one, and if I were to do a two by four across and pinch them together with screws, then it wouldn't just be held on by these, uh, no. these wood staples. And then once we build the frame for the door and the frame in the back and attach this to the frame, then it won't be so bad. Are we wrapping this, the front and the back, with hardware cloth, or are we doing the chicken wire? I don't know. 
I hadn't really thought about it. I think the back depends on if the tarp goes over the back as well or if it's open for a breeze. Mm -hmm. Because right now our intent is the tarp will cover all the panels, thus the chicken wire. I guess if it's gonna be open, it'd be hardware cloth. But if it's open, there's too much of a breeze, probably? Maybe, depending on where they're placed and if there's any wind breaks. <clears throat> the reason I'm asking is because I need to put two by four across here and over here. And then we need to do the same thing, a two by four across, and then uh, you know, a, a bracket down. And depending on how high the two by four is, depending on the type of material, material we use. Because if it's the hardware cloth, it's 48 inches high. If it's the, both. that one's, oh, are they both 48, both inches? 48 inches? Okay, well, never mind then. <laughs> okay, so I can just do 48 inches. Yep. Okay, that's fine, that works. Okay. We have finished the framing. We were kind of going back and forth on the best design to make it the easiest to build, but also sturdy. We were thinking about kind of going diagonally in some places, and but we decided not to, so kind of just went with kind of a square shape. We did add some diagonal bracing down below, which did help it quite a bit to be pretty rigid. So now what we're deciding is where are we gonna place the nesting boxes and so far what we decided is we're going to put them in the front here and we're probably going to have uh, one nesting box here and then another nesting box at the top we'll have a door that you just open up and you slide these out so these will be on trays basically and these are not quite milk cartons they're more like just they're little file storage yeah file storage that we found at a kind of a, a cheaper bargain outlet type thing so now it's just a matter of cutting out the framing for that and framing up the little shelves that those fit into. And then we have to do the roosting bar or bars, depending on how we do that inside. And the question is, are we gonna go this way? We can go this way. Anyway, still some things to figure out, but we're, we're working our way through it. So they're pretty, pretty sturdy. They, yeah, they seemed pretty rigid. Mm -hmm. That side's thicker than this side. Yeah. Then I liked this one if we could figure out how to do a Y branch on one so they had more options. I'm gonna cut it to seven feet. And is that okay even though it's not straight? Well, it's seven feet in okay. length, it just happens to be curved. Okay. And we can go, it'll we'll have to probably cut it to length again. That's okay, yeah. Yeah, this will have to cut again. Oh yeah, that's way. Yep. Okay, I can, it needs almost two inches cut off at least. How high do we want it? Um, well, I want one a little lower that's further out towards you, and then and one a little up. higher that's closer into the back of the cage. Oh, okay. So it would This one be further out? Yeah, this one would be like, so they don't poop on each other. Mm -hmm. And they can sit either which way, because some of them I found like to face the back wall, even though they're higher up. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think that's- That was just barely long enough now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause you're over quite a bit on this side. Am I? On this side you are. You're overhanging a good amount. Oh no, not so much. Cut it too short. That's fine. It'll okay. work. Okay. You just have to pinch them on there. Okay. What do you, do you need the little Gosh, the um, wood staples or? No, we're gonna do it with, uh, with just small pieces of wood. Oh, oh, like I see. I did. Yep. I split it, so I can't get it very tight. Darn it. Let's split it again. Shoot. That's poking out. All right, since I 
split the wood. I'm going to hold it together with zip ties because, you know, zip ties to the rescue. I can't quite get the uh, screws through all the way because they poke up. So I think what I'm going to do is drill it the other way. Piece of wood underneath it. This one can come out. That's better. That works. And that one's already on there pretty good. That'll work. Sweet. All right, so we will have to put some bracing so it doesn't bend so much. But maybe we can do that with, there we go, that'll work. Bracing like that. Nice. So can you grab the drill, uh, grab the uh, drill bit one, the one with the drill bit? This one? Mm-hmm. And go ahead and drill straight down through there like that. Grab a screw and go kind of slow with it. Okay, stop. Perfect. And then we'll just grab Give a screw you. here. Why don't you do that? I need two more screws. Okay. That'll work out well. Nice. Be a little, little. Uh, you know, it moves a little bit. Not too bad. I like it. I like the natural. Maybe we'll put the Red Island Reds in here so they can feel like they get their tree. <laughs> I wonder if I can sit on it. No. No? Okay. Please don't. And this, we might need to trim these a little or use something different because I did split it a little bit when I was... Like how, how much of a Y do you want? How wide of a Y? I don't know. Right. I was just using the, what was already there. So I think we need to go just a smidge over seven, or seven foot was a little too wide. Too short. It was too long. We had to cut it down last okay. time. Are we going seven feet from? Because remember, this was seven foot and we had to cut this off. Are we off. doing seven feet from this? Yeah. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Ooh, Jeez. that almost hit me in the yeah, face. Here. Like freaking oh. Hercules strong force on that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's all I need. Bust another lip. <laughs> well, it's gonna have to be kind of cockeye because of those. That might make it a little difficult. I understand. You can always make it go upward. Oh, that's true. So if it's up here and then this one goes up, they can really try. Should we to do get... the bigger one up? What do you think? Oh. Oh, sure. That's fine. And then that one that's down. That's kind of too much of a. Well, this could be the the uh, thing that stabilizes it. Oh, okay. Oh, like on the ground? Yeah, not on the ground. So it's, so when we take a tractor and move, or something to move it, you know, can, honey, can this swing up and attach to that? Absolutely. And then just trim it off. Okay. Do you want it on that one or should we do it one more higher? What do you think? Cause I think that's plenty far apart for them to jump. Okay. We can, you know what, Here, let's do this. I want to have it on, do you want it back further? Back further, yeah, I'm just, there you go. Like that. Yep. So I'll pinch this one in there, and then we'll pinch that one in there. Yep, and then just trim and off. And that will... Probably get a different saw or something that's a little less choppy. Is that too close? It's pretty, this right here is pretty, they wouldn't be able to, but that's, I mean, it's okay. I think it's fine, because there's plenty of room right there. Yeah, plenty I mean, they they yeah, perch like, on the one that's yeah. right up on top, mm -hmm. so they'll go as high as they possibly can. We decided to bring out our growing little country in us. <laughs> from saying from growing little country, he's a master with sticks, making things work. So, got the perches up. We added some bracing here. 
So none of these things are gonna move around. They are very, very sturdy. Katie's design work with the Y right here. <laughs> I think it looks cool. Yeah, better than just two by fours. Yeah. Yeah, Some, and plus, you know, birds are perching in trees. Why not use what we have? Looks good. I like it. All right, we just went to the gray barn. We found, well, we brought these from Portland. They're just cedar one by one sticks. And then we found a couple pieces of plywood like material that we can use for the walls and the flooring of the nesting boxes. The girls decided, the golden girls decided that they didn't like their paddock anymore. And they made their way all the way over from the pond, all the way over here. Hey ladies, ladies, hey ladies, ladies, hey ladies, ladies. Hi ladies! Hi ladies! There we go. Come on ladies! Hey ladies! Hi! Hi, look at all the food here. Look at all this grass. Oh, of course not. Alright, well, you girls have fun. Yeah. The sheep, the shenanigans, the chickens, oh, it's, it's too much. Alright, uh, here's where we are with things. So, I just created a pretty crude, two crude boxes for the nesting box. Uh, these little trays will just slip in just like that. The door will close. Uh, these will be stacked, but not one on top of each other. We'll put them inside the coop. We're going to just put them right here, we'll have a door that closes and then they'll have access from the inside. And then Katie just finished wrapping. This looks really good, honey. Uh, Katie just finished wrapping the back. So now all we need to do is mount the nesting boxes and then build the door, finish wrapping the front, and then we don't have a tarp to put over this yet. So we'll do that after we get a tarp. To the fluffy butt hut. <laughs> All right, so we have completed the first of the hoop coops that are going to be singular. 
We have a latch on the door to keep it shut. And we have a stopper down here so that it doesn't go too far in. And this of course opens up nice and wide. And then as you come in, so this is going to be our double decker nesting box. It looks like we need to get the other basket in there, but there'll be two baskets. And this is just a little perch to, if they wanna jump up on it or to help them get in and out. And then we have, this is on a slight angle in case any water does get in here or any rain. So hopefully it'll just kind of, you know, slide back out. We've got a dual perch system back here. We just use some cedar and some other branches, cut down a tree. And so it's got all different sizes, variations and heights for them. So our plan is to put our Rhode Island red pullets in here and a rooster. And then we will have a run, a fenced run that will go out and around this. So this will be their evening. And if they want to get out of the rain, the elements, the weather, we also have over here is so we don't have to access the coop, the coop if we don't want to and this is how we can open this up and just pull the eggs out grab what we need and they are good to go and then we have a couple additional features that we're considering putting on here to make this a little bit more movable more like a little bit like a chicken tractor so we do have some large wheels that we would put some wheels on the back here and one on each side and then we would be able to pull it uh, and move it if we need to and another piece that we've considered is if we want to just keep this shut and add a chicken door on it so if we do that we'll frame something out or we haven't decided yet so that's why we just went ahead and got it so that it's chicken ready and good to go. All right, everybody, that's it. That's the build. We have three more to build like this. We're gonna do the next three a little bit differently. Yes. There are a few little uh, things. Learned. Yes, that we <laughs> wanna do differently. So yep. we'll show you those when we're done with them. But uh, thanks for watching. Yep, take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.